how's it going? So this weekend, I decided to come out here to Gwyn's Island, a little tiny island out in the Chesapeake. It's uh, in Matthews County, just off the end of the Middle Peninsula, um, just at the end of the Piankatank River. I hope I said that right. And it might seem kind of a random pick, but um, I, I used to come out. I've got a connection to it. I used to come out here as a kid and go fishing every summer. So yeah, I just thought it would be cool to, to, to come back out. And I'm gonna do a little walkthrough of the Gwen's Island Museum. And I uh, wanted to take a tour of the islands, um, but I don't know of any historical, I, I drove around, there are just a bunch of old cottages, little, little beach houses, but I'm gonna ask inside if there are any uh, older buildings to check out. So um, also wanted to say, I know I've been spending a lot of time on the East Coast. Um, of course, that's where kind of where all the, all the action and all the history uh, took place, but I am gonna make my way out West and where I live in the Fredericksburg area, I pretty much can't go past Lynchburg without getting a hotel. So I'm gonna eventually bite the bullet here one of these weekends and just uh, maybe go down to Roanoke and uh, yeah, just make a big weekend out of it. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get fueled up and I'll see you in there. All right. Check this place out. No, uh, free admission. That's cool. Uh, this building used to be the schoolhouse. So the lady saw me back here talking and uh, she came back. She told me she was going to take me on a proper tour and she's getting some stuff together right now. And uh, they did give me a little map of the island. There are two historic homes, the Keebler home and the Gwynville home. And I can give you some quick history. Um, the original inhabitants of the island were the Piankatank Indians. That's who, of course, the uh, river was named after. And then uh, Hugh Gwynn, who was a Jamestown settler. He came to Jamestown 1610. Um, 1611, he was uh, out on an exploration uh, expedition, discovered the island. Although, of course, Indians were already living here. But um, all the way in, in 1635, he then stated a claim to King Charles. Uh, he, he was looking for a grant. Uh, the grant was uh, was approved five years later in 1640. He was given 1,000 acres, um, which was about a fourth of the island. And the Gwynn family lived here until about the, uh, the mid-1800s. I can also tell you the island saw action during the Revolutionary War. And the story goes, uh, Governor Dunmore, the last British governor, was in Norfolk. Uh, Norfolk was under siege, was burned down, so he fled. He took 82 ships, hundreds, if not thousands of men, up here to the island, and set up a, a barricade. The Patriots quickly followed. They set up uh, cannons on a hill just on the other side of the, uh, the channel on the mainland. Dunmore thought he was protected and uh, he had made a comment. He, he saw the soldiers up on the hill. He said they looked like little crickets. He thought he was safe, but his ship actually was in uh, within firing range. Uh, so they fired upon his ship. I don't think they sank it. Uh, caused heavy damage. Uh, one man was killed. Another seriously injured. Uh, Lord Dunmore was injured. He's, he got some shrapnel in his leg. Uh, so anyway, he ended up uh, fleeing to New York, was in New York for just a, a short uh, period of time, was chased out and then went back to England. So that's the story of uh, the Battle of Cricket Hill. Here it is, about four miles wide. And some schoolhouse items. And John Smith visited, I'm sure on his exploration of the Chesapeake. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Humpback whale skull. Giant sea turtle. A USS Constitution. I saw that up in Boston. This is dedicated to some of the veterans from the island. Looks like this section, World War II. Old German helmet. And a uh, German gas mask. And yeah, World War I, you can tell by the flat brim. World War, uh, World War One over here. Another German helmet with a bullet. It looks like a um, uh, looks like a bullet hole. Would be a lightweight summer jacket. Old flintlock pistol. A crutch from maybe the Civil War. Swiss Viter Viterli rifle. Like some Confederate veterans from Matthews. The Estelle. some wood crafting tools okay that's the upstairs so we get be with and take you know nice and friendly fun yep. tell them good stories yeah what did he do for a living no he looks like they have a little ferry Five and ten store. Five and ten, took the steamboat to Baltimore and started shelving, doing shelf work at uh, five and ten in the Woolworth store in Baltimore. And uh, oh, and then, how Gwen's Island got its um, name. Yeah, like I could say, Hugh Gwen, Pink Tank River. Yeah, there's a romantic story that Hugh. Hugh Gwen rescued Pocahontas, but you know that story's not going to be true. And, but he graduated from there and went on. He, uh, he was the um, and that's all Pocahontas. The Standard Brands Company, headquartered in New York. They they distributed Chase of Sandwood. It says he heard her cries for help. He dove in, pulled an Indian girl to safety. Pocahontas was her name. He, was, hmm. he had family and he was working in the food industry. Oh yeah, and here's the uh so anyway, he here's the mask mastodon tusk and, uh, right there. Then he retired after twenty five. And it was originally six feet shot. long, but they so three people discovered it and they cut it in, into three sections. Huh. In New Jersey. And this is the jawbone, the molar, the third molar. And they somehow can tell that this was a female and it was thirty five years old. 
And Charlie came back though. My dear brother came back and, and ran the business with my, my father. And some sort of knife from the... And then... Um, 25,000 years ago. My dad retired... Paleolithic time, time period. And then... Uh, and the story goes with this so uh, yeah boat was just out dredging the bottom and about 240 feet down they found these uh artifacts and the uh all this was at the smithsonian for about two years and then they donated it back to the uh, museum and gave them this display so that's pretty neat Oh, and the Gwens were a big family uh, in Wales. And they've got connections somehow to the Roman Empire. Some old glasses. Contact lenses. Wow. Mm. And some old medical equipment. They bought a place on um, Gatton Road, the front house on the right. I remember they went to church. And Charles is dead. Yeah. Castor oil. Uh, some old phonographs. <laughs> well, there, it's just a summer place for them. Yeah. Uh, kind of an old a Sears washer. Hmm. Interesting. And more Native American artifacts. Oh, yeah, that's my, my aunt and uncle. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Took a while to finish it. Maybe it was uh, the original home burned down. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So, two or three years later, he passed. Little cottage. Oh, yeah. Lee and Bonnie. Uh, a stereoscope. Yeah. 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 That's pretty neat. Anyway, yeah. He did most of it himself. Yeah. Beautiful home. Old ink wells. Okay, I think I've wrapped around, so that's it for the museum.